Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. So this is class 15 where we are going to learn about enable and disable. Okay. So how to handle this enable and disable with the use of selenium. Okay. So we will see this thing. So before this one, let's understand what is the enable and disable here. Okay. So see, this is a, uh, this website I am going to take for this uh, lecture. So you will see this is a flight uh, booking website. Okay. So in this one, we have departure city, we have arrival city and two data are there. So once we click on one way, na, so you will see this return date automatically in a, uh, disabled. Okay. See, see this change. Round trip enable one way disabled. Okay. So now this is disabled, but when we click on this one, na, so it will, uh, it will enable. Okay. So we have to figure out whether it is enabled or disabled. Okay. So let's see how to do this one. So for this one, first uh, we will go to the editor. Okay. We will create one separate test case for this one so for creating test case we have to click on new and then we have to click on class okay we will give the name of this class that is enable and disable okay and we will click on this public study void main till now all goods now what we will do we will copy the previous three lines okay for browser invoking for maximizing the window and for sending the url okay and we will hover this slip and then we will add this okay so that this error will gone now we have to change the website link okay copy from here go there and paste this value okay save it run it for the first time let's see how it is behaving whether it is opening or not okay then we will perform some actions in this one so it will open this rahul sati academy drop down practice space yeah we are here now we have to see this one okay so first uh, let's inspect this one Control shift i or you can select right click and then you can go to the inspect part okay see uh this is enable at, uh, at this moment okay just grab this uh information so you can see this is the button and this is the class id name class name and style attribute you can see okay just see what happened when i click on this button when i click on this button you can see only this value is going to change okay from opacity 0 0.1 to it became 0 0 0.5 to 1 okay once we click on this one okay let's see again when this button is disabled so opacity value we can see is 0 0.5 but when we click on this button the opacity value changes to 0 0.5 to 1 rest all the information are same okay so i hope you guys understand like what we are going to use in this one definitely we are going to use the opacity to enable checking enable and disable button okay so let's write x path for this one first okay so i am clicking click uh, there again and this is our id okay so i will to class name okay you can take id as well just take id and whatever you want okay control f slash slash div at the rate class equals to this one okay so you can see this button is highlighted as of now this button is one but when you refresh this page now so for the first time what we are going to see you are going to see it will be 0 0.5 because it is disabled at that moment okay okay control f control yeah now you can see this one okay as of now you will see it's the 0 0.5 because it's a one way selected okay when we click on this button automatically round trip will be selected and we can see the opacity value will be one okay so copy this one go there we will write a uh, function uh, we will write our expert driver dot find element okay by dot x path okay sorry my bad yeah by dot x path okay and then we will give the value here okay we will pass the value here so this is the value okay now in this value what we have to see now we have to see this style attribute only because this style attribute only going to changes from 0 0.5 to 1 okay so what we will do we will use get attribute method okay get attribute okay 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 we have to close this one as well now we have to use this one dot get attribute okay you can see this get attribute and now here what uh, what attribute we are checking we are checking style attribute okay and we will store this value into one string 
okay because we are getting a string value we will store in a string variable just give name status status one give okay and we will print this is status one sys out control space it will show you this function we have to use this is this uh, status one and paste inside this one okay now copy these things okay and we will paste here okay this time we will give this status two and uh, this time also we will take this uh, attribute as a style okay now question is how it will changes to this one way to this round trip when we click on this element right this one way will be converted to or we can say this enable uh, disable button will be converted to enable when when we click on this button okay so we have to click on this button so just take out this thing okay so from status 1 to status 2 how it will be going to change when we click on this button right so we will click on this one okay save it and run it let's see first okay you can see here it's a one way and disabled okay i think we have got some error yep we have some error uh, no such element method okay 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 see what happened this is not xpath right this is not xpath xpath uh, we have written completely different uh, xpath we have written this one right why only pick selector is okay we will copy this whole path okay i think there is some copy and paste issue yeah we will change this value this is x path this is x path this is x path now it should run okay save it now run it i think there is some mistake when i copied and pasted it but not an issue you know how to create x path how to write x path so that's fine uh -huh. one more thing we have to check okay i will tell you what is there okay wait i will tell you yeah this is good this is good we know like from 0 0.5 to 1 it will converted but yeah uh what we have to know we have to check this button as well okay see first we will first we will give some uh thread also okay just keep some thread between these two okay give here also and give here also okay save it now run it so that we can see this steps clear okay yeah so it will open a browsing maximize mode okay you can see it's a one way selected and this button is disabled okay after some time it will click on this round trip not round trip it will click here return type uh, return date and automatically this round trip will be selected and you can see this button is uh, enable now go there you can see 0 0.5 before and after it's one when once it was uh, when it is uh, click this button then it will changes from 0 0.5 to one now we will see if okay if okay we have status 2 at the end okay so we will check this button directly okay this uh, this variable if status 2 dot contains okay what contains this value okay if this button contains this value it means it is enabled okay it means it means it is enabled so sys out okay and we will write like button is is enable okay if not if not then it will go to the else part else and then we will directly print this message this button is okay disabled okay save it and run it again okay it's a very easy concept okay this enable and disable part is very easy we have to check whether this element whether any attribute is going to change or not if any attribute will change we will grab that information and then based on this uh, input we will check this button enable or not yeah you can see it clicked and it is enabled now so at the last we will get button is enabled okay so that's all in this video guys i hope you understand this concept okay if not then go through this video again definitely you will get to know about this thing and if you found anything else just let me know